We're in Windows Server 2016, and let's take a look at how to create a reverse zone. So a reverse zone allows us to look up IP addresses that point to names rather than names that point to IP addresses. And I'll explain what that means here in just a bit. So let's go ahead and first go to our server manager, as you see here, and go to tools, and then we're going to go to DNS. This is our DNS manager. Now, if you don't see this, it means that you have to install DNS. So uh, go ahead and go to the add roles and features, and you can install that. If this is a domain controller, then it's installed by default. So we see our forward lookup zones, we see our reverse lookup zones. Now our, our forward lookup zones are already pre-populated because that happens when you create an Active Directory domain. And this is a domain controller, so we see the uh, zone here, the MSDCS, as well as the widget.internal. These other two zones we created in other uh, videos, so check those out in the uh, Windows Server 2016 playlist. So now we're in the reverse lookup zone, and we want to create a new Active Directory integrated reverse lookup zone. So we're going to right-click on that reverse lookup area, click on New Zone. And the wizard comes up. Let's go ahead and go through the wizard and explain what it is that we're doing. Uh, we have several different options. The first one is primary, secondary, and then stub zone. So we also have the option to store this in Active Directory. Now, since this is a domain controller, we do see this option. So what we want to do is we want this to replicate with all other domain controllers. So all we have to do is add a host record or a PTR record, I should say, in this reverse lookup, and then it will automatically replicate to every other DNS uh, server in Active Directory. So let's go ahead and leave this as the primary since we want this server to be controlling it or any domain controller, and we want it to replicate. So let's go ahead and leave this box checked as well. And we'll click Next, and we'll leave the defaults here to all DNS servers on domain controllers. We're going to say this is an IPv4 lookup zone, which it is. And now we put in our network ID. So let's go ahead and put in our internal subnet. Now, if you're not sure what that is, I'll show you how to find it. So we go to a command prompt. And from here, in the command prompt, type ipconfig. And we see that the first three, what we call octets, are 192.168.15. Now, we know that this is the network because the subnet mask is also populated in three octets. So since this says 255 three times, we know that this portion is the network portion. And this portion, because it's not populated, is the host portion. So the IP address of this computer is considered the host. So we're going to use these first three octets. So if you only saw the first two octets populated, then it would only be the 192.168 followed by 0 and 0 would be the subnet. So we can get a lot deeper into this and what this means uh, if these have other numbers besides 0 or 255. But that's not really the point of this video, so that's going to be in other subnetting type videos. Let's go ahead and minimize that and we'll leave in our 192.168.15. Let's go ahead and choose Next. And we're going to allow secure dynamic updates, which is what's recommended for Active Directory. Let's go ahead and click Next and Finish. OK, so if we expand our reverse lookup, we now see our 15, 168, 192. And by default, we see the name server at the top is pointing back to itself and also as the start of authority, or SOA. So that is something normal. Let's go ahead and create a pointer record. There's a couple different ways we can do that. We can just right click and choose a new pointer. And then we can fill in what the name is going to be. Or we can go back into one of our other zones. And in this case, let's go ahead and choose widget. And let's go ahead and go into the zone record of the server itself. And all we have to do is click on Update Associated PTR Record, or Reverse Record. Go ahead and check that box and click Apply. And now when we go back to our Reverse Zone, we see that there is a record for this, this particular server, which is exactly what we expected. All right, so if we go back to our Command Prompt, and let's go ahead and clear the screen here. If we type ping dc2, that's what's called a forward lookup. And that's doing a IP version 6. So all we have to do is do a minus 4 for TCP IP 4. And do it again. There we go. 192.168.15.239. Great. 
Let's clear the screen. And now what we're going to do is a reverse ping. So we do ping space minus A. And then we put in the exact same address. Hit Enter. And we see when we ping in reverse, it gives us the name DC2. So without that reverse zone, you're not going to get the reverse lookup. So sometimes we know the name of a server, but sometimes we know the IP of the server without the name. And so you need that reverse zone and the ping minus A command in order to sometimes find out that information. So that's how you create a reverse zone in Active Directory in Windows Server 2016.